Well, first up, news from California where at least four people have died and 12 have been wounded in a shootout at a food festival. Let's listen in to what the police department had to say. Well, the shootout took place at the Girloy Garlic Food Festival near San Jose in California. And eyewitnesses say that a man in his mid-30s was seen firing with a rifle. Videos posted on social media showed festival attendees running in confusion with a loud popping sound being heard in the background. So a lot more information will be coming to light throughout the evening and in, into the morning tomorrow. And as we have additional information to share, we'll, we'll push out through our uh, social media platforms uh, and we'll set up another press conference so that we can share that information with you. Uh, this incident tonight started at about 5.41 p.m. Uh, there were reports of shooting uh, on the north side of the Garlic Festival uh, area. Uh, officers were in that area and engaged the suspect in less than a minute. Uh, the suspect was shot uh, and killed. Uh, it appears as if though they had come into the festival via the creek which borders a parking area uh, and they use some sort of a tool to cut through the fence to be able to gain access through the secure fence line uh, and that's how they got into the festival area itself. We have uh, one suspect we know that is down. Uh, we have some witnesses reporting that there may have been a second suspect but we don't know if that suspect was engaged in any shooting or whether they may have been in some sort of a support role for the, the person that we have uh, accounted for. We have at least uh, 15 people injured. Uh, we have four fatalities that we know of, uh, including the suspect. The officers that engaged uh, the suspect, obviously we have a protocol that we need to deal with for that. So. Uh, Santa Clara County has a protocol on dealing with officer-involved shootings, so that's just another layer of uh, complexity with the, the shooting that we're investigating from the suspect. We put out a call for assistance. Uh, we had many, many officers in the park uh, at the time that this occurred, as we do any day during a uh, festival, uh, which accounts for the very, very quick response time. When we put out the call for help, we've gotten help from agencies all across Santa Clara County and Monterey County. Uh, and I can't thank those agencies enough. Uh, they came from, you know, pretty good distances away to be here to help support and provide uh, assistance with our investigation in dealing with the chaos of the scene at the time that it occurred. We have set up some things. Uh, you know, a reunification because, you know, in the panic, people go out for different ways than they came in and families got separated. And so we have this uh, area at Gavilan College in Gilroy set up as a reunification area to try to reunite families that got separated. We also have a phone number for families uh, to be able to call and we have people staffing those phone numbers to work on the reunification process. Uh, that phone number is area code 408-846-0584. Uh, we also are asking for any witnesses uh, because there was quite a number of people in the park. Anybody that witnessed this incident uh, that can tell us anything, that took any photographs, that perhaps videotaped anything that might be uh, relevant to this investigation, to please contact us and we've set up a special phone number uh, for witnesses as well and that phone number is 408-846-0583.
Well, police vehicles, ambulances and uh, fire trucks are at the scene of the shooting along with authorities from Gilroy, San Jose and San Francisco. Uh, the festival, which is an annual three-day event, was being held at an outdoor park where weapons of any kind are prohibited. And uh, there are many eyewitness accounts as well. While we were uh, packing up, getting ready to go, we were serving a barbecue. We had a vending booth. We're just getting ready to leave. We were almost packed up, and I heard the gunfire, and I knew right away what it was. And uh, and we, I screamed to everybody, just get in the truck and go. Right. And my son grabbed some people in his truck, and I put more of our family yeah. in my truck, and we just got out of there. So this is where we landed. Okay. We're probably now about a quarter of a mile from the shooting. Eye opening. Yeah. Uh, just yeah. Uh, still in shock. Um, just. You know that this happened real. and it, 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 that it is real. Um, uh, just shock, I think. We heard it, and um, the first time I thought it was fireworks, and the second time someone um, from Ariat said, "Get down, active shooter!" And I saw my peers go down, and we all started running. And we were pretty. We heard it distinctly. I just didn't recognize it the first round. The second time I did, they were getting closer. So I just started running. I left everything. I ran. I ran. And back earlier we spoke.